Blessed be the name of the Lord. Korobo sikana mahanda bakariandi. Leke se kana mahanda bakorobo soto bokoriandi. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, El Shaddai Adonai. The great I am that I am. Miracle walking God. Ancient of days. Kandevo soto bokoriandi. Reba baba shanda. Great I am, great I am. Great I am. Great I am. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I believe in the Father. I believe in the Son. And I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe. I believe. I believe in the Father. I believe in the Son. And I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe. I believe. He's a God of integrity. In the God of faithfulness, He will never disappoint those who believe. Hallelujah! He's a God of integrity. In the God of faithfulness, that's why I believe. Oh. I believe, Lord, you are, you're the God of integrity, in the God of faithfulness, Father, you will never disappoint, everyone who believes in you, Lord, you're the God of integrity. In the God of faithfulness, Lord, that's why I believe. Oh, yes, I. 
awesome hallelujah hallelujah we give god all the glory we give god all the honor we give god all the adoration hallelujah somebody just make some noise unto the lord make his name glorious hallelujah can we just make a joyful noise unto the lord make his name glorious tonight make his name glorious tonight he is god he is king he is the Alpha and the Omega, the all-sufficient God. Come on, just give him all the glory. Just give him all the honor. Just adore him tonight. Worship him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. There is no other God like him. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is the all-sufficient God. He is the way maker, the miracle working God. He is the all-sufficient God, our King, our maker. Oh, why don't you just worship the Lord? Rama Namahanda, El Shaddai Adonai, Rekande Bosoto Koriande. 
We adore you, we adore you, we adore you, we adore you. Ah, Rama Satan Abakoriandim. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you just type out hallelujah? Just go ahead and type out tonight hallelujah. We give him all the glory. Just type out and say hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to the Messiah. Hallelujah to my God, my King, my provider, my protector. Just say hallelujah to him tonight. Hallelujah. He made us to see yet another month yet another month and we just want to give him all the praise and all the adoration why don't you just say thank you jesus where you are seated oh just say thank you jesus for life thank you for your protection thank you for your provision if it were not for the lord who has been on our side the bible says they would have eaten our flesh <laughs> and drunk our blood if it were not for the lord who has been by our side. The Bible says he made us to escape like a bird from the snare of the fowler. That is our God. He made us to escape like a bird from the fowler snare. What a mighty God we serve tonight. Hallelujah. So I welcome you all tonight to the women on the threshing floor. Thank you to everyone who is online already. Those of you who are on Zoom, and I, I welcome you. If you are on Facebook and you can really, really join us on Zoom, why don't you come on Zoom, hallelujah, tonight? And if you are on Facebook, I want you to share the link. Share the link with someone as I welcome you to the threshing floor. Those of you who are on Zoom, those of you who are on, on Facebook, may the Lord bless you. Thank you for coming online tonight hallelujah god bless you as you are taking your time to come on the threshing floor god bless you all hallelujah thank you for all the men every man who is online tonight and for all the men who keeps on tuning in may the lord bless you god bless you says we appreciate you and we love you thank you for everyone who is giving offerings to women on the threshing floor in the form of sharing the flyers sharing the link and sharing the information may the lord bless you as well and some of you are so awesome some of you have given financial seeds to the threshing floor some of you are giving seeds for the testimonies that the lord has given to you and i just want to thank god for your lives may the lord continue to enlarge your capacity and continue to enlarge your territories amen on behalf of myself and on behalf of apostle who is the overseer of women on the threshing floor and the children who are here with us who are working behind the scenes we just want to appreciate you and thank god for your lives and thank you for joining hallelujah the threshing floor tonight amen and amen hallelujah hallelujah now tonight is a unique night tonight the lord has got great things in store for us hallelujah and we had the kingdom experience international conference uh two weeks back wow 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 we return all the glory to god for what he has done during the kingdom experience conference if you were blessed i want you to press your heart buttons if you attended the kingdom experience international conference why don't you press your heart buttons as a sign of retaining the glory to god thank you so much for everyone who supported the women on the threshing floor thank you so much for everyone who joined the conference thank you so much for everyone who served all the coordinators may the lord bless you thank you for all of you who are sharing your heart buttons i can see that you were blessed god bless you hallelujah thank you so much and tonight is another night that is the first of october this is the first of the 10th month hallelujah and this is the first night with the new theme and the agenda remains the same on the threshing floor this is the place 
of separation. And as we thresh, separation will take place in the name of Jesus, which means that the Lord will take away everything that gives you sleepless nights. Hallelujah. The Lord will remove everything that bothers you in the name of Jesus. As we are threshing, the Lord will take away everything that he has not planted in our lives in the name of Jesus. And this is the place of judgment. Everything that is minus life in abundance will be judged by the Lord in the name of Jesus. And this remains the place of worship. I just love to worship the Lord. I just love to spend some time in worshiping the Lord. You know, I don't worship to open the program. No, no, no. I, it, this worship is not to open this service, but this is in honor of the Lord for what he continuously does do in our lives. Hallelujah. His grace, his mercy, his love, his protection, his provision. That is why I come on life and give him the first fruits of this program in the form of worship, telling him that, Lord, this place is yours. This platform is yours and for him to take the glory. Hallelujah. Now let's get to the business of today. Please get your Bibles, please get your pens and get your notebooks and let's get down to business. Let's get to the word of the Lord. And I want us to read the theme scripture of this month. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verses 11 to 12. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 11 to 12. Thank you so much for those of you who are ushering online. If you are writing out the scriptures, may the Lord bless you. And can you all hear me very well? If you can hear me, can you just confirm those of you on Facebook, those of you on Zoom, can you just confirm whether the sound is well and whether you can hear me? Hallelujah. Just confirm. Somebody just confirm and then we will move on. Is somebody confirming for us can you hear me very well? Is everything fine? God bless you. Thank you very much. We are reading Ephesians chapter 6, verses 11 and 12. The Bible reads, put on the full armor of God. And I'm reading from the NIV first. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For your struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. I want to repeat that again. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 11 and 12. The Bible reads, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes for your struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers against the authorities against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms let's pray father we just thank you already for everything that you are about to do in our midst. Thank you for the month of October. Thank you for this day, which is the first of this month. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that you will tabernacle with us tonight. I give you all the authority. Lord, we don't want business as usual. I want you to move like never before. I want you to touch every woman. I want you to touch every family that is represented here tonight. I want you to touch every country, every nation that is represented here tonight. Lord, I ask that you heal your people. I ask that the soul be saved. I ask that the marriage be restored. I ask that finances be restored. I ask that blind eyes be opened. Lord, move. Let your signs and miracles, let your wonders take place tonight like never before in the name of Jesus. I bind every demonic activity. I bind every plan of the enemy. I release the power of God over the airwaves in the name of Jesus. I come against any interference. I come against any hindrance. I come against anything that stands against the word of God. And I release, Father God, your presence in the atmosphere. I release your presence over the airwaves and I take authority I take authority over the service in the mighty name 
name of Jesus. And I ask, Lord God, that you will move like never before. Once we are done, Lord God Almighty, and once you are doing what only you can do, we want to say we had a presence with the Lord. We had an encounter with the Lord. This is not about me. This is not about me, Lord God. And I ask that tonight they will not see me. They will not hear me, but they will see you and they will hear you. Lord, I pray for an unusual presence. I pray for an unusual presence in the name of Jesus. And we promise tonight that once you have done what only you can do, Father, please take the glory. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The message tonight is entitled, Take Your Stand. The message is entitled, Take Your Stand. Now, if you are a member of Women on the Threshing Floor, or if you have been following the programs of Women on the Threshing Floor, you will know that the first night or the first session of the theme, we always dedicate to speak about the, pro, the, the theme of, of the month. And we use the first session to always lay a solid foundation about the entire theme. Hallelujah. It is for us to understand what the month is all about and what the Lord wants to do in us and through us throughout the month and, and, and the particular area in which he wants to minister to us. So that is why the message tonight is titled according to the theme of this month, which is take your stand. Somebody type it out for us tonight already and say, take your stand. Encourage someone online and say, take your stand. Hallelujah. If you are awake and you are online, can you just type it out and say, take your stand. Sister, take your stand. My brother, take your stand. Hallelujah. Now, I want to read the same scripture in the Amplified Version. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 11 and 12. I want to read it in the Amplified Version as well. In the Amplified, it says, Put on the full armor of God, for his precepts are like the splendor, like the splendid armor of a heavily armed soldier, so that you may be able to successfully stand up against the schemes and the strategies and the deceits of the devil. Hallelujah. Verse 12 says, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, contending only with the physical opponents, but against the rulers. Listen to what our, flesh, our struggle is against. It says against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces, against the world forces of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly or the supernatural places. May the Lord bless the person who translated the Bible in the Amplified Version. May the Lord bless that person in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, when you read the scripture, you realize that you are not here for a child's play. Hallelujah. You are not here for, for, for loop and fall, if I can put it. I don't know how to put it in English. Hallelujah. The Bible says, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the schemes. Take your stand against the schemes, against the strategies against the deceits of the devil. And it says, our struggle is not against flesh and blood. This wrestle is not against human beings. Please stay with me tonight. I want you to focus. This is the year of focus on women on the threshing floor. So please focus and stay with me tonight. Now we are up against spirits. We are up against systems. We are up against authorities that are operating from the heavenlies, operating from the supernatural places. 
what you are seeing here on earth, women of God, what you are seeing in your house, what you are seeing in your finances, what you are seeing in your families, what you are seeing in your office, what you are seeing in your studies, these are just symptoms. Can I repeat that? What you are seeing are just symptoms and they are evidences and manifestations of the things that have been decided upon in or, or things that have been planned in the heavenlies. These are things that have been orchestrated in the heavenlies. And that is why we cannot fight this battle with this spiritual battle. We cannot fight it with physical weapons because this battle is not against flesh and blood. Every time you fight this battle with physical weapons, oh, I feel it in the name of Jesus. I feel this thing. And I hope you are praying. Every time you fight this battle with physical weapons, you fail because the origin of this battle is not flesh, but spiritual. I hope somebody is getting me already. I hope somebody is getting me already. The behavior of your son or the behavior of your daughter or the behavior of your husband is not physical. And if you look at it, if you look at the manifestations, if you look at the symptoms and you fight it with, with physical weapons, you will not win this battle because the origin of this battle is spiritual and it has been planned it has been orchestrated in the heavenly places by the rulers by the authorities and the forces of wickedness can i go a little bit deeper hallelujah the purpose of your money for example is not necessarily about you i hope somebody is hearing me very well the purpose of your finances is not necessarily all about you you are a world changer can i can i repeat to somebody you are a world changer some of you are called to change the living standards of families some of you are called to change the living standards of communities. Some of you are called to change the living standard of nations. So the, so the rulers and the principalities have arranged certain strategies. They have arranged certain schemes. They have arranged certain deceits so that you will not have, or so that you will not have enough to fulfill your destiny. Oh, I hope somebody is listening to me tonight. So because when you have enough you will impact lives and communities and nations will change and when you are moving in your destiny that will irritate the enemy so so what you see in your life is not the real deal <laughs> somebody write it out this is not the real deal what you see being manifested in your life is not the real deal it is a symptom of a decision hallelujah it is a symptom of a scheme it is a symptom of a strategy of the dark forces it is a symptom to keep you broke it is to keep you frustrated. It is to keep you depressed. It is to keep you irritated so that you will not worship God. Oh, I hope somebody is praying for me. It is to keep you frustrated so that you will not worship God and fulfill your purpose. The aim is for you to question God. The aim is for you to become a rebel in the house of the Lord. The aim is for you to be a complacent Christian who goes around doing whatever you want, goes around, you know, uh, talking anyhow, because that has been orchestrated so that you will not fulfill destiny. The devil is a liar. And because you are disturbed with the symptoms, not knowing that it has been orchestrated. You are working against your destiny. You see, at times, some of you are online. Let me, let me, let me speak to you. Some of you are online, but you are also not online. 
Why? Because your mind is already into tomorrow. Your mind is into tomorrow as to how you will solve the issues of tomorrow. And, and while you are online, while you are listening to me, your mind is trying to figure out what needs to happen tomorrow, what needs to happen after the program. And the devil keeps your mind busy. And that is why after the program, you will still ask for prayer because your mind has not been here. Your mind has been engaged and your mind there's been a workshop of worries and struggles and all sorts of issues. The devil knows that when you are focused, the devil knows that when you are serious, you will create serious havoc in the camp of the enemy. So he has these strategies, he has these schemes, and he has this deceit to keep your mind busy and to keep you busy in a perpetual stage of survival. Who am I talking to tonight? Who am I talking to already tonight? Imagine, women of God, I want you to take a moment and imagine, imagine yourself having a bank balance of one million Namibian dollars. I want you to close your eyes and imagine you having one million, yes, I said it. Imagine one million Namibian dollars in your bank account. Less all the debts, less all you owe. You have paid everything and you have one million dollars in your bank account. What happens to you? Immediately, your taste changes. Immediately, your mood changes. You see, there are things in your house currently, it actually belongs in the dustbin. It actually belongs to, to, to the guys that are taking our rubbish, you know, refuse on, on Thursday. But because of the current situation, it is still in your house. It is because of the condition that you are going through that you are still keeping it in your house. Oh, for some of us, that curtain, it's actually not your taste. That curtain in your sitting room or in your kitchen, it's actually not your taste. You want to get rid of that curtain, but it is because of the current condition. I hope I'm talking to someone. It is because of the current condition that that bed sheet, that shoe, that dress is still in your house. Once that one million condo bossata, once that one million lands into your bank account, you will compose a spontaneous worship song. Ah, who am I talking to tonight? And yes, if you are a believer, one hundred dollars will immediately go to church. Hallelujah. Kande bossata, it will go to church. <laughs> And, 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 and the church will, will evangelize and the church will take care of the widows and the church will take care of the orphans. Hallelujah. Once that money comes into your account and the people of God will call others to come to the church and say, come to our church because our church is taking care of our needs. Where am I going with this? That means women of God, your breakthrough is not yours alone. Your breakthrough affects people around you. Your breakthrough affects your brothers. It affects your sisters. It affects your family. That is why there is a struggle against your breakthrough. That is why there is a struggle against your breakthrough. That is why there is a struggle for you to have that which the Lord says you should have. Jesus is coming very soon and the Lord wants us to win many souls, hallelujah, as much as we can. This is not just a one-man show. The work of the Lord is plenty, but the laborers are few. And the Lord says, tell my daughters to take their stand. Tell my daughters to take their stand. Now you might be asking me, prophetess, take my stand against what? Take my stand against what this is what it means to take your stand what does it then mean to take your stand to take your stand means to adopt a firm position about an issue 
What does it mean to take your stand? It means to take a position in, op in opposition to something or someone. You don't agree. When you take your stand, you say, I don't agree. To take your stand means to oppose. It means to resist something or someone. When you take your stand, it means you put your foot down. When you take your stand, you say, I am putting my foot down till here and no further. I am drawing a line and I declare up till this place and no further. And the Lord says, take your stand. Take your stand against what? He says, take your stand against all the schemes. Take your stand against the strategies of the enemy. Take your stand against the deceits of the devil. What are the schemes? What are the schemes of the enemy? What does it mean to take your stand against a scheme? A scheme is a secret plan. A scheme is an arrangement. A scheme is a system and a structure of the devil. My God, my God. What are the strategies? These are plans. These are actions designed on a long-term basis. These are strategies, not a one-year strategies. These are five-year strategies of the enemies orchestrated against your life. And the Lord says, take your stand. What are the deceits? These are the lies. These are the misrepresentation of the truth about who God is, of the truth about the promises of God for you. These are concealing the truth. And the Lord says, take your stand. Take your stand against the scheme. Take your stand against the deceit. Take your stand against the strategies. Now I said in the beginning, you cannot take your stand and you cannot fight this battle that is spiritual with physical and carnal weapons. Oh, I hope I've got someone that I'm talking to tonight. So the Lord provided weapons. The Lord provided weapons so that you will be able to wrestle, so that you will be able to fight this fight. And he said, for you to take your stand against the scheme, against the strategies, and against the deceit of the enemy, you need to put on the full armor of God. The weapons were provided so that you can take your stand, but you need to put on the full armor of God. You need to put on the armor so that you will be able to stand. And the Bible says the full armor, not half armor, not one piece of the armor. It says full armor. If you want to be successful during these end times, you need to dress accordingly. <laughs> if you want to be successful as a wife, if you want to be successful as a sister, if you want to be successful as a daughter, you need to be dressed accordingly. So many women, unfortunately, are naked in the spirit. Can I repeat that? So many women, unfortunately, are naked in the spirit. And that is why they fight in the flesh. This battle is not against your son, women of God. This battle is not against your husband, women of God. This battle is not against your neighbor, women of God. This battle is not against your family, women of God. This battle is not against your pastor. This battle is against the forces of the wickedness. And you can only overcome and stand if you are dressed for battle are you dressed for battle that is why the lord is saying put on the full armor so that you can be stand ready for this battle so this month the lord wants us to give the lord wants to give us all round victories and that is why he says take your stand take your stand by putting on the armor Women of God, some of your armors are still in the closets. 
Some of your armors are dusty, lying around at a place where you also don't remember where it is because it has not been used for quite some time. Some of your armors are still in the container that the Lord has released it to you. And it's time, wherever it is, for us to put on the full armor of God so that we will be able to take our stand in the name of Jesus. So throughout this month, we will deal with all the elements of the armor so that we have a clear understanding of why we are given the armor of God and why the Lord is saying we should take our stand. I hope sincerely that some of us are angry because of our armors that are left behind somewhere in the closet and that we are not ready to take our stand. I hope that we are ready now that the Lord is speaking to us that we will take our stand against the nonsense that we have tolerated so long, nonsense that we have allowed to happen in our life. It is time for us to come out of the survival mode and live our lives in abundance. That's a word for someone already. It is time for us to come out of the survival mode. It is time for us to come out of the self-pity and live a life of favor. It is time for us to take our stand against the lies of the enemy. Take our stand against the schemes of the enemy. Take our stand against the deceits of the enemy. Can they all satter the lies that we have believed for so long? The lies that made us to lower our standards. Where you say, so far I have half bread. It is better than nothing. No, the Lord has got a full loaf for you ready. You cannot settle for half bread. You cannot settle for a slice of, slice of bread. This is the time for you to take your stand and say, I am not settling for less. The Lord has got the best for me in the name of Jesus. Oh, I see women arising. I see an army of women arising, taking up their stand in this season. No longer will you be taken for a ride. I speak to you, women of God who is online. No longer will you be taken for a ride. No longer will you be lied to. No longer will you be lied to. No longer will you be taken for a ride. This is your moment to take your stand in the Lord. Imagine you, imagine you with that. <laughs> you know what that is. Imagine you, a whole you with that. On your best day, you will not allow that. You know what that is. I don't want to call it. On your best day, even on your lowest, you will not allow that to be called together with you. You will not allow that to walk around with you. You will not allow that to sit around with you. But because of your current situation, you have allowed that to hang around you. No more. No more, women of God. No more. This is time to take your stand. Things must change for you. Things must change. And I prophesy over your life, before the end of this year, your testimony must be heard. Whose word is that? Who is taking that word for yourself? Before the end of this year, your testimony must be heard in the name of Jesus. Before the end of 2021, I'm speaking to you, women of God. You will testify about the goodness of the Lord. I'm speaking to you online. Before the end of 2021, you will testify. Whose word is that? Who is the Lord speaking to tonight? Take that word in the name of Jesus. Before the end of this year, you will testify. No more delay. No more delay over your life. No more delay in the name of Jesus. Where the doors were closed against you, I prophesy in the name of Jesus. The doors are opening as you are taking your stand in the Lord. As you are taking your stand and not allow that. Ah, Rama Soka Namahanda Bakariandi. You see, 
Do we see people getting married in this season? In this COVID season, some brides are even putting on white masks according to their wedding dresses. Why, why is it that when it comes to you, you are saying the mask is covering my face? Where did they meet those people? Are we all not in this season? Why is it different now that it is your turn? No more. No more. I remove that veil from your face. You will be seen by your husband. I re Through the mask, you will be seen by your husband in the mighty name of Jesus. Take your stand. Take your stand. Do not settle for less. Oh yeah, this is the place of separation. May I remind you? This is the place where we change systems and strategies. We are changing atmospheres on our knees. Oh, and I hope I've got women online who are fired up tonight and say, I'm taking my stand. I have allowed it for too long. I'm taking my stand. I, I hope I've got someone who says, I'm taking my stand. I'm rising up and taking my stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Why don't you start by thanking the Lord for this message tonight? Why don't you just lift up your hands and say, Father, I thank you for speaking to me tonight to rise up and to take my stand. Oh, you almost slept off. You almost slept off during this season and the Lord is coming to wake you up. I don't know whom the Lord is targeting tonight. I don't know whom the Lord is locating tonight, but you almost slept off. You almost slept off and the Lord is targeting you tonight and he says, wake up. Take your stand. Why don't you thank him tonight? You got tired along the way. You got tired along the way and you allow things to go their way. You allow children to do their things. You allow your husband to go around the way he wants. Everything in your house is let it be. Whatever must be, must be. Ah, no, 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 no. Say, Lord, I thank you for speaking to me tonight. I am rising up and I'm taking my stand. Who am I speaking to tonight? Say, I'm rising up and I'm taking my stand. I've allowed things to go their way, but I'm rising up and I'm taking my stand in the name of Jesus. I pray for yourself and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for targeting me tonight. Lord, I thank you for waking me up again. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I'm waking up. I'm waking up. I'm waking up and I'm taking my stand. I'm taking my stand in the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to pray. I want you to pray and say, Lord, let your fire burn in me. This is a prayer for you, my sister. Say, Lord, let your fire burn in me. The fire for prayer. I am a Cassandra. The fire for worship, let it burn in me. The fire for praise, let it burn in me. The fire for reading the word, let it burn in me. Somebody call that fire tonight. Say, Lord, let the fire burn in me. Go ahead and pray for yourself. Let the fire of the Lord burn in me. Come the boss, Ah, my sister, for some of you, you were hot. You were hot before. You And you know when you are hot. <laughs> You know when you are hot in the spirit. Ah. <coughs> I don't know whose word this is, but you know when you are hot, the things that are currently happening are not happening on your screen. <laughs> Those things are not playing on your TV. When you are hot, it's because you have become cold. It's because you have allowed things to happen that these things are happening. Sister, go ahead and say, Lord, put me on fire. Put me on fire for prayer. Put me on fire for worship. Let your fire burn in me. Cry out to the Lord. You can't afford to be lukewarm. You are not dressing anyhow. You are not dressing anyhow. You are not listening to anyhow music. You are not eating anyhow because you have gone cold. Pray, my sister, and say, Lord, put me on fire. I need your fire. I need your fire. No more excuses. I need your fire, Robo Shanda Bakariade. I am taking my stand. I am taking my stand, Robo Shondo Bokoriade. 
I don't know whom the Lord is speaking to. You, 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 they even sent you clips of worldly music. A whole you in the days when you were hot, they knew they cannot afford to make you listen to those clips. But now, because you you have allowed things to go their way, they, they are even sending you those messages. You need to say, Lord, let your fire burn. Let your fire burn in me. Ignite that fire. Ignite that fire. In the name of Jesus. Let that fire burn in you. Let that fire burn in you. Let that fire burn in you. You see, <laughs> oh Jesus, Mama Pastor does not need to tell you, cover your cover your cleavage. It's because you have gone cold. It, they don't need to tell you, sister, cover your. It is because you have not taken your stand. But tonight I want you to pray and say, Kande Moshada, Lord. Let your fire burn. Let your fire burn. Let your fire burn in me. The fire of prayer. The fire of reading your word. The fire of meditating the scripture. Let it burn. And I want you to pray and say, Lord, and the bush at her. I want you to pray and say, Lord, Give me the grace to walk in obedience. Because it is one thing to hear the word, but it's one thing to obey. You can hear the word and then it becomes entertainment. Uh, even this threshing floor, some people will be blessed. But if you are not walking in obedience, it will become an entertainment. I refuse that my voice, I refuse that this platform become an entertainment for you. Pray for obedience. Pray, say, Lord, let me obey your word. Every time I, word, I hear the word, let me obey the word. Pray for the spirit of obedience. Because God is speaking to someone tonight. The Lord is speaking to you. Say, Lord, help me to obey you. Help me to obey your word. And for some of you who are online, at this point, if you have not given your life to the Lord, you are living outside obedience. And I want you to obey the word of the Lord. The Bible says in John 3, chapter 16 the bible says god gave us his only begotten son and he says if you accept him you will not perish you don't want to perish you don't want to destroy your life and i'm bringing to you jesus i am bringing to you jesus would you accept him as your lord and savior would you accept him tonight as your lord and savior if you accept him can you pray with me tonight and say lord jesus i now surrender my life Forgive me all my sins and all my trespasses. Say, Lord, I believe you died for my sins and you rose for me and give me the victory. Say, Jesus, I believe you are Lord and I am now born again. Hallelujah. Say, I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. I celebrate you. And if you don't mind tonight, if you have prayed that prayer for the first time, or you are praying that prayer as a woman who says, I'm taking my stand. I've forgotten about that vow, but I'm taking my stand. Would you let me know so that I can have a little chat with you again? I'm excited about your journey. And as we round off, I want us to pray for our family. Now that you are taking your stand, I want you to pray for your family. And I want you to take your stand and cover them with the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and cover your family with the blood of Jesus. Say, I cover my husband with the blood of Jesus. I cover my son with the blood of Jesus. I cover my daughter with the blood of Jesus. I cover my spiritual children with the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and cover your family with the blood of Jesus. As you are taking your stand, the enemy does not like it when you are awake. You know it very well. When you become hot, 
you become troublesome. When you become on fire, you become troublesome. And he doesn't like that part of you. When you are on fire, the devil doesn't like it. So cover your family with the blood. Go ahead and just cover your family with the blood of Jesus. Cover your brothers, cover your sisters with the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. I cover my family with the blood of Jesus. Just go ahead and cover them. Reba shanda bakoriande beke sanda. Rika suka na mahanda bakoriande. Retelele bondo bakoriande beke sanda. Rika sanda na bakoriande beke sanda. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. And amen. Hallelujah. We give God all the glory for speaking to us tonight. We will continue next week. And God is giving us detail. The Lord will give us a detail as to how to stand in different areas of our lives. I want you to, to make a date. I'm telling you the revelations that the Lord is just giving about this armor of God is mind blowing. And I'm calling you as you have taken your stand. Let us come together again next week, Friday, and hear what the Lord wants us to stand against and how he wants us to use the armor of God. Please don't miss out, hallelujah. And if you want to be part of the women on the threshing floor, and if you are in Ventuk, I want you to contact Minister Foybe Fabiano. She's also online, or, or I, will, I will send their pictures, post their pictures on, on, on the platform, and you can just contact her if you are in Ventuk and you want to be part of the women on threshing floor, please contact Minister Foybe Fabiano. If you are in Valfes by, Kindly contact Minister Mageti Kuyos. She is there for the Valfres Bay. If you want to know anything about women on the threshing floor, you contact her and you are in Valfres Bay. If you are in Hruat Fontaine, I want you to contact Minister Balbur Balburkan Hwakaus. She will tell you everything about the women on the threshing floor. There are different platforms of women on the threshing floor and they are the coordinators. They will help you to become part of this wonderful group of women. We are interdenominational women. This is not a church organization, but we are women on fire who are sent to expand the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. If you are in Chumeb, please contact Minister Samantha Gadila. She will tell you all about the women on the threshing floor and she will tell you how you can become a member of women on the threshing floor. If you are in Swakopmund, please contact Minister Ined Chipita. She will tell you all about the women on the threshing floor and help you to become part of the coordinators. Hallelujah. If your place where you are has not been called you can contact me or you can contact one of the coordinators and they will make sure that there is a coordinator in your place. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you. May the Lord bless your family and everything that concerns you. May the Lord equip you. May the Lord equip you to take your stand against the lies, to take your stand against the strategies to take your stand against the schemes of the enemy, to take your stand against the deceptions of the enemy. And may the Lord give you wisdom to operate in the spirit, especially in this season. May he give you the wisdom, the knowledge and the understanding to navigate in the spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. We have come to the end of tonight's service. Hallelujah. And we give God all the glory for the life that was transformed, for the life that was saved, for the life that is on fire. For the women that says, I'm back on my post and I'm taking my stand. We return the glory to the Lord. Before you go, please don't go as yet. I want you to, I want to give you one minute to just pray for me. And please don't go as yet. I've got an announcement and I want to give you an announcement. Hallelujah. So please don't go. Please take a minute and just pray for me. Pray for my husband. Pray for Abandoned Life Ministries. Pray for women on the threshing floor. Just pray for everything that concerns us. Hallelujah.
thank you so much for all your prayers. May the Lord give you back double for every prayer that you have released upon me, upon my family. May the Lord return to you double in the name of Jesus. And I just want you to hear this exciting announcement. Hallelujah. Please don't go as yet. Let's quickly see this announcement. It's time to build Abundant Life Ministries with the vision to declare the order of God in the lives of God's people is embarking on a project called Project 1000 to build the Abundant Life Empowerment Center, a place where order will be declared, a place of skills empowerment for the youths and for adults. This empowerment center is inclusive of the church auditorium, indoor sports facilities, as well as classes for vocational training. With God, all things are possible. Would you partner with us as one of the 1,000 partners on this project by giving $1,000 once off or by giving $100 for the next 12 months? starting June 2021 up till June 2022. God bless you as you do so. This is Project 1000. God bless you. Amen and amen. And the details are online. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Eve, Abundant Life Ministries has been a blessing to you in one form or the other. We are asking that you be one of our 1,000 partners on this project. That is, you give 100 Namibian dollars, only 100 for the next 12 months to, or, or 10, 10 months to make it 1,000. Hallelujah or you give uh, 80 US dollar or 70 Euro. Again, either way, you can give $200 for six months, whichever way is easier for you. So far it is 1000. You know, we, we also just want to, the, the details were on the line, you can just re rewind and then you can you can screenshot. And, and some people are so awesome. They said, you know what, one, one, $100 per, per month is too small for us and, and to partner with 1000 is too small. And they have decided that instead of $100, they have decided to partner with $1,000 dollars every month. I just want to give God all the glory for everyone who has already given to Project 1000, whichever way you have given. I really just want to thank God for your lives as you are giving to this project. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. And now also for those of you in uh, um, uh, who are married, I just want to announce the marriage seminar winning together is coming up on the 9th of October. It's taking place here in Ventuk. If you are married and you are striving to win together or you want to spice up your marriage, please do join us on the 9th of October. It's $200 per person, $400 per couple, and it's taking place at the church auditorium. All the information are on all our platforms. You can get the flyers there. And if you are in Ventuk and you don't have a place of worship, you can join us at the Royal House. That's every Sunday, 110 Robert Mugabe Avenue, and our services are starting at 10. We welcome you with open arms. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much for everyone who has been online tonight. Those of you on Zoom, those of you on Facebook, may the Lord bless you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for taking our time on a Friday evening when sometimes we get so tired that you come online. All the men, may the Lord bless you. I appreciate you. Remember, take your stand. This is the season that the Lord wants to do great things 
in your life, through you and in you. Take your stand. God bless you. I love you. If I don't see you on Sunday, then I see you next week on Friday. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.